Okay, now here's another example. And so in this example, it's the set of all functions that go from the naturals to the reals. So it's a function of all real valued functions of one natural number variable is a vector space under the operations of uh, adding functions, right? So the way you add functions and uh, the way you multiply functions by a scalar. Okay, so under these operations, this is a, ve a vector space. Okay, so um, for example, we have this. So that's one function. And then we have f2 sub n. Oops. So there's the other function. So if we look at these functions here, and we want to add them this way, let's do two times, All right, let's do that. And so if we add these, what do we get? Well, we're going to get Right, so if we take two times this, these two are going to cancel. This is going to become one. And we just get n squared. So we're just going to get n squared plus one. This is our final answer. We can also view uh, this space as a generalization of the example we saw with the two tall um, vectors uh, in, well, back a few videos ago. Because um, we can write a table, right, so the table of values, so we're gonna, if we go from the natural numbers, we're going from the natural numbers to the real numbers. So if we have a table of values, so the natural numbers would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then f of n would be what? 1, 2, 5, 10, and so on. And so this would correspond to that vector. So this would be an infinitely tall vector, right? So these functions, like I said, are like infinitely tall vectors. Um, Now, addition and scalar multiplication are component-wise as in the same example from the two tall vectors. So now we can formalize uh, the, you know, the idea of infinitely tall.
right? So we can formalize this idea of being infinitely tall by saying that it means an infinite sequence or it means uh, a function that goes from the naturals to the reals. All right. Have a good day.